I'm Shadow. And I'm Piper. Hi. And I'm I'm cold. Yeah, we're both kind of a little bit less. Channeling toasty. the dark arts, apparently. Apparently so. Ice Cavern with our boy. Welcome back to Spyro. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. I have a brownie. Mm -hmm. I have a brownie for long loading times. All right. We got seventeen hundred gems. Go. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. I, okay, I don't really say it like that. I normally just say it 1,700, but maybe I'm just weird. I mean, it's the same thing either way, so... Like, even even when it comes to money, I'm just like, I have 1,700. <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to figure out, um, like, what people meant by 1,700 or, like, any other thing of that nature. But once I figured it out, I was like, oh, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Maybe it's just like a knife. No, probably not. Never mind, that was a stupid thought. So in this one, the, the, the bats are foul. Mm. That's why they keep coming down. Ulrich! Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big. <clears throat> before charging those large enemies. Alright. Beep beep. Hey Zoe. The, uh, the thing. Hey Zoe. Is there any fun topics? Um. Any fun topics on the hundred percenting levels here? This is the this Spyro series is just gonna be like, uh, let's talk with Shadow and Piper. Um. Cause why not? Well. <laughs> You're like trying so hard. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something that's not college, but also, I mean, because like the only thing that I've been doing in my free time is watching stupid videos and. Oh, it's Todor! Oh, how interesting. Spyro. Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. We have an archer. Yeah. All right, you were going on about right. So lately, I've only been watching a bunch of stupid videos, and uh, basically like playing on my PS4 a lot in my free time, whenever I have any. <laughs> so there isn't a whole lot, but I am actually starting to like make a little. Instagram videos of how to care for piercings because for some reason on my for you page I noticed that there were a lot of videos of like industrial piercing horror stories and I was like y'all are just being stupid <laughs> like I understand I understand that piercings are jacked and sometimes you're only left with one of the two piercings is it Andor? Thank you for yep. releasing me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Piper. That's okay. I'm just going through, man. Yeah. Um, Continue on. So there was one video where it was a rejection of one of the piercings. So the... Because I have one. I have an industrial. And apparently hers, the frontal helix piercing, which is at like the tippy top of your the front of your ear um, was fine, it stayed, but the bottom one rejected, which happens a lot with people, like your ear whenever it's healing and if you like sleep or if like you sleep weird on it or even just leaving it alone, sometimes your ears, it swallows it and like pushes the piercing back into the flat of your ear Ooh. or it can push it out and then you'll just have a dangly piercing outside your ear. Ouchy, ouch. Yeah. So, that is a possibility for industrials. It just sounds like it hurts a lot. I mean, it's kind of a funky thing, because, like, your ear is just... Like, it doesn't scar, I don't think. It might with some people, but it just looks like your ear just, like, merged the piercing out of it. Yeah. It's very odd. 
That just sounds, that just sounds gross. Oh, wait, you can go back and get that chest. Oh. Sorry, everybody. That's okay. Some people are probably yelling at the screen. It's okay. It's okay, I'm going. They're like, hi. Hey. Um, and then there are other times I really wish that some people would actually take care of their piercing consecutively after oh. they get it. Oh. <laughs> because I also saw this other story of this girl who was having a really hard time with their industrial piercing healing. Mm -hmm. And if you have a hard time with your piercing healing, and if it gets infected, take out the fucking piercing. You would think. You can ask for a re-pierce, re or you can just have it redone. It is not worth having to get a surgery that will cost you over a thousand dollars to get a piercing removed from like the skin of your ear after it grows over the piercing because it's infected. I actually, when I went to go get my normal um, your piercings, lobes. yeah, my, my normal piercings, if you will, mm -hmm. those are the only piercings I will ever do, FYI, because I hate needles and um, just getting like stabbed anywhere else on me. I have very sensitive skin, just in general, just all over, like yeah. my ear, the whole nine yards. My stomach, like, I just have very sensitive skin. So when it comes to those types of piercings, I'm like, hell no. Because I know it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker if I go to do it. Yeah. But it's like, if if you're getting, like, piercings or you're getting tattoos or whatever, you should you should take good care of your stuff. Because, oh, yeah. I mean, they already cost a lot to get oh, it my done. God. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're gonna do that, please take care of your stuff. Because it does cost a lot. So, like, tips? from me for start for like people that just got a new piercing don't sleep on it do not sleep on that side of your body or try not to i turn in my sleep which is the only reason why i'm like i'm not doing this <laughs> try and sleep on the opposite side or on your back or on your stomach do not try not to sleep on Shit. that side of your body um you're probably going to ding it a couple of times Meaning that you're probably gonna hit it by accident. Uh, this is Asher. Hello. For freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? I don't know. Where were you? He's an old dragon, okay? Mm -hmm. Um. It's like your granddad. Yeah. I know. Whenever I first got my. Mine, cause my first piercing, besides my earlobes, which don't really count cause I got them whenever I was a baby. Um, so my first piercing piercing was my industrial. I got, I took out the hardcore one first. Um, cause it's, a lot of people say that industrials hurt really bad, but the thing is that it's two consecutive piercings. So that's the only reason why it kind of hurts is because you get through the first one, and you get through the shock of that one, and then you have to wait and panic while they do the second one. <laughs> and then they put the bar through it and whatever, whatever. Um, I don't know, I, I had to like will my body to not move as much in my sleep whenever I first got it. There were a couple times whenever I did snooze on it on accident, but just like as long as you attempt then I think you're gonna be fine. Also, um, oh, you asshole! With with your beginning piercing, the the piercing that they put in your ear after you get a piercing, it's always going to be long because your ear is going to swell. That's what it does. It's going to be like, what the hell is this? I didn't want this. Now you are going to have pain and suffering and soreness for a couple weeks. Well, it's trying to heal it. Yep. So they're always going to give you a longer piercing whenever it first gets done. Oh, your body thinks it's a injury. Mm -hmm. Which is why some people, their uh, piercing rejects is because the body is like, hey, this isn't cool. So we're just going to push it out. Yeah. It's like, I paid a lot of money for that, but okay. That's just how it is. That's like um, me. I don't think I could ever get like a different piercing because it would heal over so quickly. Yeah. Because my, I have a hard time trying to keep my normal piercings open, and those I got when I was in, 
high school. Yeah. So I, I, really it's, it, it's been a, like a couple years. I, I was super it, excited. About it depends it. on the body. Well, Ragnar. thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. I'm <clears throat> ready for what? I'm getting like pose and nasal drip down my throat, so I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> That's another thing, is that everyone's body is different, so the healing process is going to be different for you. You sad shit. Um, with some people, you definitely need to consider taking, like, putting in permanent, well, semi permanent, but permanent, uh, piercing earrings that you can change out in case your body is like, no, we don't like that. So, definitely just talk to your piercer. Talk to them. Ask them about healing processes. Ask them about how to make saline solution because buying it is honestly not fucking worth it. They overcharge. They do. It's, it's really easy just to make homemade. Plus, it's more... Like, I think it's more sanitary because then you can just change it out a lot faster, I guess. Um, so yes, it is going to hurt. So you need to take ibuprofen because it also helps with the swelling. But once it's healed, I would definitely make sure that you get um, shorter, a shorter piercing in. But Not everybody can take ibuprofen, so ibuprofen true. slash Tylenol. Yeah. True, true. I'm one of those people that can't take ibuprofen. I get a headache from taking it. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely take uh, some pain medicine. That's why I don't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I get a really bad headache and it hurts. Yeah. That's okay. There's also, like, other anti-swelling things, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, once it's healed, definitely put in a shorter piercing that way you don't ding it as much and it won't freaking hurt your hair is going to get caught on it just so you know and that is also going to hurt if, well, if you you're a it. woman it's gonna get caught <laughs> yeah and some guys some guys just keep their hair short and some people don't so, okay yeah. he just committed suicide all right cool hope you had fun with that i guess i don't know that's a bit dark. <laughs> just a bit. Um. Okay, he just ran straight into the wall. Oh, uh, post nasal drip with allergies is the worst. Mm. I but that's not. also no. That's how. That's also how you know you don't have COVID. Yeah, I don't envy you at all right now. Because uh, it it drips down your throat. COVID uh, when you get sick with it does not. Yep. Oh, ow, get the shit beating out of me. Ow, my bones. Your hand hurts. So many bony bones. Sparks is like, help me. I'm trying, buddy, I'm trying. Um, we may die. Oh, also, be careful of the metal that you choose for your jewelry. So usually whenever you go to a piercing shop, they're using surgical grade steel, like stainless steel, like you use in appliances. Uh, sometimes appliances. Oh, it's better. Um, oh. Dr. Shemp thinks he's so Rondo? cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. All right. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, smack. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Personally, with uh, the metals that you use for your piercings, I prefer titanium, but it does. It depends on your allergies. If I would definitely um, be careful if you get a piercing and you use a nickel-based earring because a lot of people will find out that they're allergic. Usually the, it will end up smelling or it will turn your skin a different color. Um, cause my, one of my sisters is allergic to nickel and she found out because she's, she used, uh, nickel based earrings whenever we used to wear, um, lobe earrings a lot and she would always be like, 
why does it smell funny? Why is it doing this thing? Why is it getting irritated? <laughs> because you're allergic to nickel. So you have to use a different metal. Um, definitely try and use or try and go to um, jewelry sites that are actually legitimate and will use legitimate metals instead of just like... Ooh, Icings is one of those. Icings yeah. has titanium. You definitely gotta be careful with that stuff. Icings and Claire's, they make really good eye earrings. And they actually tell you what they're made out of. Yep. Yep, you should recommend it. If you want, you can even get other, like, precious metal jewelry, if you so wish. That is up to you. I personally don't, just because I, I don't want to. I know what metal I like, so I just use that one. I'm gonna wash my face if I leave. Okay. I'm so damn tired. What is up with this dude? Problems. So it would seem. He is quite. Fuck! I'm trying! Yeah, yeah. There you go. I did save it. Oh, oh. It's it's the way he does his jump. Yeah. Honestly. It just it's it sucks. I gotcha. You wanna try? No. <laughs> <laughs> every time you ask, and every time I say no. Oh, but if anyone wants more uh, tips and tricks, then I'll gladly include them. So, yep. That's, that's the things that I came up to talk about, so. Now we just have to burn his cookie. Oh, come on! That should have got you the first time. Mm. That's horseshit. Mm -hmm. like, excuse me? There's an attack he does. That one. Okay. Die, dude. I'm so sick of I looking know. at you. Yeah. To be honest. That's the boss fight. Oh, okay. I was about to say, this one's really annoying. Cut the boss fight. Alright, okay. Great, make sure we got everything. Okay. Then we just bonk, we bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. Okay. Trusty boy! Mm -hmm. Sorry, everybody at home, I'm, I'm just. I'm, go I'm going through some allergies over here. So I'm not, I'm not as active. I'm here, I'm just not as active. <laughs> Cause I got some potes and needs to drip going on in the back of my throat. I took some mucinex earlier, the maximum strength. I think it's making me a little bit tired. I had yeah. a coffee. You usually get kind of drowsy after you take mucinex. I can't help it though. I like, remember whenever you used to come to school after taking mucinex and I was always like, dude, you are dead. <sighs> I would literally fall asleep in class, mm -hmm. and then my teachers would yell at me, and I'm, I I would sit there and be like, I have allergies. I need to take something. Because if I don't, it gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> I know there was one time whenever you tried to skip out on it. Not a good decision. Because I have people yelling at me, and I don't, like, don't get me wrong, I've tried using, like, Claritin, and, like, all the other allergy medicines that are out there, and... Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. The only one that really works for me is the Maximum Strength Mucinex. Which for my oldest sister actually puts her ass out of commission. <laughs> for me, it's the only thing that works on me. Yeah, it just makes you a little bit tired. I can't help it. I'm trying! Fine bang. I try so hard. Okay, so we pretty much did all the levels in this area. Cool. Except for the flight level, but I will do those later. When I have the patience. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. I know, right? Nice. Aren't, aren't you proud? Aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Magic Crafters, here we go. All right. I have a feeling you'll like this one. I have a feeling I'll probably like it too. Twenty-four hundred. Yeah. No, I forget how many gems are in this game. There's a lot of them though. 
I just forget. I'm making you tired. Yeah. I'm that's sorry. Okay. That's okay. I'm trying. I'm struggle bussing. I think that your yawn was just kind of contagious in some way. I was just kind of like, suppress the yawn. <laughs> like, you do not need to yawn. <laughs> Very good, probably. Oh, this is interesting. Got a lot of headroom going in. We still got quite a bit of headroom, but not as bad as before. Ooh, this is pretty. Bitch. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hate that guy. Hmm? Just the gems. It was funny. Because I just saw one and then two. That was fun. Well, it restarts. Boop. Cosmos! Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. All right. Is that asking a lot, buddy? What a flamboyant dude. I am only a small, tiny purple boy. Mm -hmm. I can only do so much. Wow, sucks to be them. Boop, 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 boop. Well, don't fucking line up in a row and this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Boink. These guys actually stalk you if you actually run by them. <laughs> they're slow as shit, but they're like, I'm coming for that ass. Like, I'm coming for you. And it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. How could you? Oh, I got some holiday earrings! Oh, you yeah, I forgot to wear them! Okay. No! Okay, what the fuck? I don't know what that was about. Hello? Right, we just a random scream. Of death? Yes. I'm from the game. Like a... Just a random. Oh. Alright, everybody, you're about to go fucking dizzy. These dudes are ugly. Ha! There we go. I don't know how many times I've gotten dizzy trying to follow that damn dude. Yeah. I've still managed to keep whew, relatively undizzied. I just took a mucinex, so I'm trying. <laughs> but it's like, ah, my eyeballs. <laughs> there have been a few times whenever you've played games, and I'm like, oof. Yeah, it happens. Hi, buddy. Santor! When you Ooh. see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead. Try it. I, I said that you might like these guys because they're magic-based. What a cutie patozy! They're all magic-based dragons because they're in the magic crafter's world. Yeah, I like them. Woo! Alright. Boink. He got boinked! He did. Very quickly. Bulldog! This portal oh. leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. The other two levels you're technically not supposed to find early if you're playing the game for the first time. But if you're a veteran like me, then you then you know it's an option. Yep. You know things. You know how to do what you do. That was a good enemy design. I like it. There's more of them. Ah. They're, they're little turds though. Yeah, they seem like it. Oh, they are. Do it. it. Yeah, he does a little hover if you nail it right, but sometimes you, it doesn't happen. That's okay. It does not happen. So you're probably wondering how I get that box. Yeah, go all the way back. Okay. I'm gonna try and nail this. Can't, no guarantees. Alright. Oh! Nailed the first try. Yeah! Yeah, that was the way to go. Normally I don't nail that first try, so somebody be impressed. <laughs> cool. Boop. I'm living the dream. Oh, I'm 
living on the edge. Woo! <laughs> Hey, hey, sheep, get back here. Ram, whatever you are. I don't need you, dude. I don't know what you are, but you were some type of foul. You are some type of doodad. Wait, can we go ahead and, like, move on? Oh my god, we can't! <laughs> we're not going to, but... No, let, let, let's play through these levels. Okay. We're here, we might as well. Because we've we've hundred uh, percent of the other levels, so we can just move on. Huh. The only thing about that is, then you have to get the levels in Beast Makers if you decide to try and do that. Mm. And those levels are a pain in the ass. Good to know. So we're gonna we're gonna do these ones first. Right. Are we sticking a couple levels? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> levels are kind of short if you plan them right. And we're flying, and we're flying. Flying high. Oh, I have that key too. I know where that goes. I just didn't go there. Oops, the poops is. That's okay. I think I keep it coming out. So. Okay. It works out. Oh, I messed up this. Because <laughs> you're me doing the thing. And it's trying to lock up. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I've been popping it a lot, and I'm trying not to pop it, but... It happens. Yeah. Oh, you are a uh, strange and unusual creature. Yeah, that happens. Oh! Jesus. Hello. Oh. We don't appreciate you. So. Hell no. Oh, what I'm not gonna do is make that a slide. So yeah, these are all like magic base levels. Yeah. Which I thought you would like. Yeah, this is cute. And the color scheme is really nice on these levels. Mm -hmm. It is really nice. It kinda reminds me of three. Hold on, I'm going cross eyed looking at it. That's the Mucinex kicking in. Okay. <laughs> it kicked in, thank god. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Yeah, I think that gold and amethyst are very good uh, design colors because they're complementary colors. Meaning... Well, these levels just look pretty in general. Yeah. Not just on color schemes. Insane! How you doing? Hello, Spyro! You're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. Oh, good. I didn't think so. <laughs> cool. Oh. Ass. I killed a man. He stepped on me. He really got you with the banger. There's a way to get back. I just can't remember right now. Oh, okay. It's okay. And then we have this douche nozzle. It's not. Mm. These guys suck. We don't appreciate. Cause they're like, oh, let me just do this, and it's like, no, <laughs> Eldred. Thank you for releasing me. He's cute. Yeah, he is. I like the wings. Boink. Ah. Boop. See, they stalk you. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> Watch your back. Woo! I'm just making noises at this point because it's easier than talking. That's okay. We have these weird band of do dance. They are weird. They are weird and Dito. Ten pointers. Well, we know the Mucinex finally kicked in. Yep. So that's exciting. 
some of this crap actually scheduled. <laughs> I made out a list this time. I made out a schedule list. I think I'm gonna do that from now on because that is so much easier. Oh yeah. And then I know what we're recording and we don't have to be like, well, I guess we're gonna record this. Like, we know what we're recording if I make a schedule. Yeah. That way you can just go bam 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 set up the thing and set up the thing Oh, it's mainly just changing out games. Yep. Xander! Great work, yes, we're chill. If you have a fan, man. Up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafters world. Oh, will I? Hmm. Tell me your secret. He's very purple. I enjoyed that. He's purple dragon. Sparrow's not the only purple dragon, but he is THE purple dragon. Mm -hmm. This is how you get back. Mm -hmm. All these levels have a roundabout way. You are never, ever, ever going to find yourself stuck. There's always a way to get somewhere else. Yep. There's always a roundabout. So if you're like, ah, shit, I missed that, you can always go back. That's something I like about these levels. They, they roundabout in of themselves. Like, Insomniac, when they first built these games, was like, People are gonna trap themselves on accident. <laughs> so we'll just, you know, give them a little bit of a helping hand over here. Yeah. So they made the levels roundabout. The wizard dudes are cute, but they're annoying. Oh, look at you! They also hurt. <laughs> they hurt you. Ow! You son of a bitch! That was mean. I really came up and did that to you. That was mean. That was uncalled for. <laughs> mm. Bitch got fried. I'm mm -hmm. fried eggs and fried wizards. That's my oh, shit happens by the These guys, you're getting fried, buddy. What you're what you're doing is bullshit. Shit. <laughs> Poor sparks. There's a sheep a sheep back here. Okay. Yeah. Or a ram or whatever it is. Whatever they are. I think it's a sheep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. First. Whew. Still is very cool. Fusion X is kicking my ass. It's okay. But We're gonna record these we damn go. episodes whether my allergies like it or not. Sheepy boy. Oh yeah, if you kill enough butterflies after a while, you get a blue one and it gives you an extra life. Oh! You, you wouldn't know that off, like, right the top of your hand, but I just saw the blue butterfly and I was like, well, yeah, that's a thing. Oh yeah. So, on top of getting the extra lives normally, if you kill enough fowl, you get another extra life. Sweet. Is that it? That's not it. There's always more to these levels. You nuts! Kelvin! We gotta rescue Kelvin! Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. See? I like how they have different wing types. That's really interesting. If we didn't save Kevin, he would have been trapped there for ages. Mm -hmm. Gotta save Kevin. Kevin, you gotta get sheep. You almost got him. His tootsies were almost fried. Working on it. Doing the They they lose time doing that jump. So if you can nail it. I mean they lose time anyway, because Spiral is slightly faster. Mm -hmm. Especially if you cut corners. It's either he gets spiked or he gets roasted. <sighs> this is what normally happens with these guys. It takes me a little bit. That's okay. Oh, so close. You have to like dislocate your thumb.
We're gonna end up spiked at this rate. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, really? He was in the range of that. I actually don't know how that team goes. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that was just out of frustration. <laughs> just like, give me my egg. Yeah. Okay, now we can go through this calmly and get all the gems. Mm -hmm. I didn't even another cup of coffee because I'm a little cross eyed looking at this game now. That's okay. It's very bright. Sometimes you just need another cup of coffee, you know? Well, it's very bright. My mucinex just kicked in. I'm surprised that I actually drank my entire cup of coffee. I'm so proud. I know. I Normally, never do somebody that. lets it go cold. Yeah, I never do that in one sitting usually. I'm like, why would you let it go cold? Because I don't feel like drinking it all at once. <laughs> usually. Yep. If, if you don't get off the platform, they explode and you fall into the water. Okay. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Good to know, good to know. Okay, this should be the last gem. Ta da! Yay! I always wait for the pop up message because I'm like, that's, that's how you know you've got everything. Mm -hmm. And you're like, sweet, I can leave this in peace. It's very nice. That egg dude took me a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes it takes me a little bit. That's alright. Woo! There we go. Whirly gig! Do the whirly. Do the whirly. No, oh, my music kicked in, so I feel the tiredness. I feel it in my bones! Stretchy, stretchy. But it's the only thing that works on me. I'm feeling a little bit better. 3,190. We're gonna have to go get some more snacks. Okay. <sighs> Makes me sad. I, I don't want to go anywhere today. I think mom and dad are gonna go and go grab it. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't want to go anywhere. I, I did all my running around yesterday. I know for, <sighs> for sure that Dado Von Dado is going to go to Lowe's. So. Yeah, he said he needs something. Yeah, I can't remember what it is though. Oh, oh yeah. well, I know that he has to pick up box cutters. Ah, that's probably what it was. Yeah. How I remembered that, I don't know. I don't know either. Box cutters tend to stick in my memory more than I'd like to admit. Do you have murder on your mind or something? No, it's because, um, whenever I go to work, I always have to make sure that I bring a box cutter. Oh, for freight? Mm-hmm. So, since, it, since it's something that's on my mind uh, weekly, it tends to stick more. I think I left my box cutter at work once and one of my coworkers took it, so now I just use my own. What a bastard. Yeah. Either that or I just lost it, I don't know. That's not cool, they took a box cutter. Well, it was kind of shitty anyways, so I guess it's okay. I mean, still, that's a box cutter. Mm -hmm. See, they just look morons. Like, yeah. th they're just holding, like, an orb of resurrection. Yeah. Like, dude, you just look like an idiot. You don't have an egg. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of dumb. Alright, we'll do one more level. And then okay. call it good. Okay. Might go get, like, a Shasta twist. Because it's, like, a sprite. Yep. And it helps with your throat. My throat is going through some uh, pain and suffering right now. Some events. Yes, be careful. There's some moves here, child. You always set them off. And I'm just disappointed. This is <laughs> It's kind of funny Ooh. when he does that. He's kind of like an airplane. <laughs> yeah. The level's not finished loading in, so it's got to finish loading in. Hey, suck. Okay. Hey, suck, suck. See? 
They sucky suck. Come on, douche. I know you're up there. There it is. Okay. Oh! Hi, Cyrus! Not what I was going for, but... Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. I'm gonna get sheep to sheep first. I'm gonna roast this douche. Okay. And now we have strategic platforming. Alright. Glad and hope for best. <gasps> oh shit. That's because they're moving and it's such a pain in the ass to land on them when they're moving. It's hard. <laughs> I like how it says reigniting. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Before it just like loads you in. Zoe! Zap me! Do the thing. Bitch. I hate Zoe. Oh, I hate, I hate this level. Just because of the, the druid platforming crap. That's okay. It's like, dude, come on. Come on. Like, let me do the thing. And then this guy keeps fucking popping back up. Go away, dude. Mm. Jesus Christ almighty in a fucking chopstick, douche. Did I lose health? I did not. I guess not. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know either. I got hit by that, but I didn't lose health. Weird. Alright. I don't know what happened. Neither do I. I'll take it, though, because Sparks is still yellow. Mm-hmm. Okay, this part of the level's not too bad because the the lovely ladies down there will catch me. Okay. And yes, they do actually catch you. Alright, they don't let you fall. Hey Jack. That's one of my cousins. I hate names. Those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. I don't know what Bug Sparrow's talking about. No, it's idea. like, those the lovely ladies down there catch you, Spyro. Mm -hmm. Like, don't knock them. Yeah, no, those will actually hurt you if you're near them. Good to know. Not pretty. Ah, I hear a little bastard already. I like the cushioning, the cushioning that they put in. Very nice, very nice. Yep. It's in the original, too. Just doesn't look as cushiony. <laughs> See, they catch me. Oh. They're very nice. They bring me all the way back up here, though. Oh, why? Because you're supposed to be using the supercharge. See? That's okay. Yeah. But they do catch you. Only in this part of the level. That's okay. They have some hard work ahead, so I guess it's okay. Alright, I'm gonna focus on this one because this, this is a little harder. Okay. That's fine. Oh! Well, normally it's harder. <laughs> Some of these that I've, like, struggled on before, I'm just doing it in one go on this fucking playthrough. And I'm like, normally, it's not like that at all. He's been done got. Done got scoop. Mm -hmm. And yes, for our lovely viewers at home, I do keep up with FNAF. I don't play it personally, but I do watch playthroughs of FNAF. Because I think if I would play it personally, I'd probably break something. Honestly. Yeah. Especially the VR version. I'd either like break the TV or just like freak out accidentally break my controller 
That is hashtag not recommended. <laughs> yeah, the default net. Woo! Boink. He knocked his, his horn. He's huge, though. Cedric! Cedric Diggory. Oh! Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding and really explore the high caves. Sure. Why not? Okay. See, they like stock spire and make sure he doesn't fly. Mm -hmm. Or fall. Fly. And make sure he doesn't fly. <laughs> make sure that he does not use his wings. How dare you fly? Okay. Ready, set, go. Whoa! Shit. Oh. Shit. Shit. There's a way you gotta do that. Okay, hold on. Hold! It's gonna take a few tries. Nailed it. Alright. That's how you do that jump. Cool. So you like wait until you're at the peak of the jump from the supercharge and then you like... And then you break your thumb. Wait, why am I trying to do that with you? I don't know. I can just do this. Damn it! Aww. Dude, get in position. Okay, don't move. Don't move! Don't worry about it. Fucker. <laughs> it's an easy death. I don't know why I was trying so hard. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna get that sheep. I changed my mind mid flight. <laughs> yeah. I've done that a couple times with a flying mechanic. And it's like, hey, I guess Woo! that's the end. Boink. Get all the gems. Get all the gems. Alrighty. Come on. Now we got another part of the level we gotta do. We gotta okay. burn sheep. Maybe on the way up. Oh, I can't. I can't burn as I'm going up. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Yes, yeah, sucks. Alright. We don't. Kiss me. Please. There's a reason I want her to kiss me. Thank you. Oh. Me bitch. First thing, I'm not, I'm not just saying kiss me to kiss me. I mean, like, kiss me. <laughs> That's cool. I get powers. Alright. He's very glowy. I get super flames. Oh. That's the power I get. That's why I'm like, kiss me, honey! <laughs> Please and thank you. Because I can kill spiders with it. That's great. There's one where you get, um, she's a fairy, and if you get her to kiss you, you get the super flame for the entire level. Dang. She kind of looks like Fauna from uh, Tinkerbell. Kind of. I can see it. Well, no. No, no, no. I mean, like, later. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Fauna? I think so. She's got, like, the, the braid. Yes, okay, yeah. I know. Yeah. She, she kind of looks like her from that. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not just asking random fairies just to kiss me for no reason. There, there's a reason! Mm -hmm. And it's a powerful one. It's like, give me the power! Like this. 
Sparrow's not really complaining. I don't know if you noticed this. Mm. He's like, I'm cool with this. Like, you give me super fire. Okay, Sparrow, Check she in. picked that up while she's giving me a kiss. Thanks. Thank you. I think he was the last one. Okay. Yep. Yep, we do that. Yep. So now it's just platforms. Tweet. Oh, uh, my poor vocal box. Going through some shit right now. We're in the money. We're in the money. Oh, my vocal box is not in the money. No, but <laughs> Spyro is. <laughs> My vocal box is like pain suffering. <laughs> okay, and these should be the last few gaps. Wait. So, Piper, what, what do you think of Spyro so far? Um, what do you think of Spyro so far? I think that it's fun. It's a lot easier to just like let the time go by whenever I'm watching you do Spyro compared to some of the other games. Um, <clears throat> Crash. Yeah, Crash in particular. <laughs> that one was like pulling teeth. I think there's a lot of development issues that needed to be fixed that were not fixed. Mm -hmm. And I mean that sincerely. Oh. Yay! 100% complete. Yeah, I got to look at our analytics. I, th I think we actually lost somebody because of that and it's like well okay one that it's it's a legitimate issue like they do actually have legitimate issues that i don't think really work with the game and people who are like oh yeah this is fun that's because they're really good at platforming and the rest of us are like we're not that great okay, i'm <sighs> sorry no bueno like i like playing crash for fun it's meant to be for fun it's not really known to be a hard series i don't think not as bad as Kaizo Mario. Kaizo Mario was so much worse. Mm -hmm. And you know what you're getting into with that. But with Crash, it's like it's supposed to be like a moderate platformer. So I feel like there's just genuine problems there that need to be fixed that weren't fixed. Sounds okay. If I'm being honest. And I am. Okie dokie. So. We're gonna, we're gonna leave poor little Spiral Boy here. Mm-hmm. Who is, who's doing good. That will do it for doing this good. One. Sparks is hanging out. Sparks is redesign is, uh, a little Have, awkward. He's having fun. Hashtag not my Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the older Sparks, you, you'd understand why I think his redesign's a little weird. <laughs> that's okay. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky, but that's alright. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go get a Shinasta Twist, aka basically Sprite. Yes. For my poor throat. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope everyone stays safe, stays healthy. Once stay toasty. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>